Hi and welcome to my channel. In my last video I spoke about how I still use this late 2013 MacBook Pro as my main computer in 2021. Now it wasn't even a high spec model when I bought it. It only has an Intel Core i5 and 4GB of RAM, neither of which are upgradable. However, there was one thing about it that was upgradable and it was an upgrade I did actually perform, which I think has helped keep this machine fast enough for me to be able to use it as my main computer, as I say, in 2021. Now, what was that upgrade? Well, it was simply the SSD. The machine originally came with a 128 gigabyte SSD. Now, I upgraded it to this OWC Aura Pro X2. SSD. That's this one here. Now this is a 480 gigabyte SSD and my reason for upgrading was not because I really wanted the extra space, the 480 gigabytes. It was really because this is a much faster SSD than the one that came with the laptop originally. Now I upgraded the SSD not because I needed the extra space. I upgraded it because this SSD here from OWC is so much faster than the one that originally shipped with the MacBook. Now, I'm not sponsored by OWC or anything like that. Of course I'm not, I've got zero subscribers right now, but I do really recommend the upgrade. I think it was well worth the money. I think I spent around a hundred pounds, maybe 120 pounds. So something similar in dollars. And it's just really helped, I think, extend the life of my MacBook Pro. As I say, I'm still using it in 2021 as my main computer. I also want to say that it really was easy to perform the upgrade. OWC themselves have an instructional video on YouTube, but you might not trust it. You might think because they're the ones selling it, they are making it look easier than it really is. Well, I'm here to tell you it really is easy. And in fact, I did film the upgrade process when I did it. Um, and I'm going to just leave it to play here. I will play it sped up a bit so that you're not just sitting there for ages watching it. But yeah, once you've seen it, hopefully you'll appreciate really how easy it is. Right, now you've seen the upgrade process, hopefully you'll agree that it really is quite straightforward. If you've got an old Mac, then you might like to consider this upgrade too. I really do recommend it. With all that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.